Why Jinjin ran away crying? Yeah, just now. When you were showing us the bunny girl, she came back for money, and that's when I saw her. Then she ran away crying. Then why didn't you tell us? You were really into the competition. It's my fault. I thought she wouldn't like the outfit, so I found an excuse to ask her to leave. But that just hurt her feelings. If I could understand the importance of mutual trust, and this wouldn't have happened. I'm gonna go find Bai Jinjin and apologize. Let's go together. There are too many tourists and visitors here. It'll be hard for you to find her on your own. Wait, Nikki. You should put on a simple and light track suit. That way, it'll be easier to search for someone. Let's go ask the staff of the restaurant near the square entrance. Bai Jinjin would certainly pass by there if she ran away. The waiter just stopped us! Oh, I'm so angry! What happened? Did they see Bai Jinjin? The waiter said that he saw a girl in tears who went to the back alley behind the kitchen with her friend 20 minutes ago. But for some strange reason, the alley is currently blocked. The only way to enter it is through the kitchen. But that waiter just won't let us through! said that it's employees only. Let me take a peek and see what she looks like. Maybe we can disguise ourselves as waiters and waitresses and sneak in. Meow! Under my guidance, Nikki is becoming smarter and smarter. Bai Jinjin, who are you? Where did Bai Jinjin go? What is your relationship to Bai Jinjin? So it was you who took Bai Jinjin away. Let me see her. I want to talk to her. Nikki, we meet again. You're the girl who was searching for someone at the Sissia Theater. My master told me that you are a formidable stylist, but all I see is a whiny baby girl. Don't think you can talk in such a demeaning way just because you're wearing cold and classy clothes. I want to know how good you are. If you can defeat me, I will tell you by Jinjin's whereabouts. All right, deal. I think I saw this woman before at Queen Minari's royal ceremony. Unless she serves the queen and her younger brother? Bobo, stop daydreaming. Even the queen or the prince wouldn't tolerate such a boring lump. By Jinjin, I finally found you. Sorry for asking you to leave. I was afraid you wouldn't like my design. Now I see that trusting each other is the most important thing. So no matter what happens, I shall always be honest with you. Please, dear, don't be mad at me, okay? You idiot! However harsh I am to others, as long as it's your design, I'll always consider it the best. No more secrets hidden from me. Why is it that even when they're arguing, they still seem so sweet? Huh? Why is there a ninja from the Cloud Empire here? 
You mean that woman just then? When we got there, she was arguing with Bai Jinjin, but we don't know what they were talking about. Lady Bai Jinjin, your father's orders as I emphasized many times. Do not deny your father's will again. Nothing good will come of it. When will you ever leave us alone? How about this? If you can defeat her, I will consider going back with you. Me? By Jinjin, how could I defeat a ninja? Easy, Nikki. I'm talking about a styling contest with her. She is Dansu, a famous ghost dancer from the Cloud Empire. Besides assassination, her most important skill is dressing up. Lady by Jinjin, if you already know about me, why dig your own grave? Since you're willing to bet, I will entertain you. The opponent is a female ghost ninja. Nikki, be careful. Nikki, thank you so much. You saved me and John Lisey. Thanks for the help, everyone. To tell you the truth, Bai Jinjin and I eloped, which is why we were being followed by that ninja. From what the ninja said, I already guessed the reason. Are you running away because Bai Jinjin's father doesn't approve of your relationship? Yes. I was planning to leave alone and return one day when I became successful. However, on the day I was leaving, I opened the door and saw this silly girl carrying her luggage and waiting in the yard. That's when I started to think, for such an awesome girl, I must do everything I can to give her the amazing life she deserves. Bobo, I know my fur is soft and fluffy, but don't use me to wipe your tears, okay? <laughs> Alright, no more crying. It's so good to know you all. But we can't stay here too long, for she may change her mind any minute. Jean Lisey and I are leaving now. If we ever have the chance, I'd like to treat you, my good friends, to the best restaurant in Cloud Empire. Didn't expect to witness such a blessed couple. The two lovebirds overcame so many obstacles and have stayed together so bravely. So, pretty girl, do you want to experience an amazing love story as well? Where did this guy come from? I'm gonna have a heart attack! Royce, are you taking part in the contest too? Wait, is this the girl from back in the alley? Why is she here too? Mm-hmm. I am also a remarkable designer. And this is Neva, my, uh, stylist. Though I think she might scare away the audience at my booth. But for the sake of our unlikely reunion, let's compete once again. The lovely Nikki versus the icy maid Neva. Begin! People are gathering around because of Nikki's excellent styling. Lunar's booth is getting pretty busy. I'm curious about what kind of interesting people we will meet from now on. More single, available, handsome men, please. <sighs> Bobo is daydreaming again. Hi! Nikki, Momo and Bobo, it's really you. Timmy, oh, I know. You're here to study with your senior, right? Aw, uh, don't make fun of me. When we were in the Rose Garden, we heard that there was an outstanding girl stylist in the square booth. I guess it must be you, to be acquainted with a future master stylist. I feel so happy. Watching you and your senior happily in love makes us feel happy as well. It's not like that. I haven't told him my feelings. What? It's the fifth chapter already, and Timmy still hasn't confessed her love? Right. I hope to take it slow with him. Oh yeah. Our theme this time is the traditional student uniform. Come practice with me, Nikki. Huh? Just one minute past and Nikki is already gone. Where did she go? The manga artist Annabelle just popped out of nowhere and dragged her to an interview. Interview? That artist who is drawing the love story between a stylist and a designer? That's her. She said Nikki was her muse, so she wanted to take this opportunity to interview her properly. 
We're back! That was fast. What were you talking about? Oh, did you mention the stylist's adorable and wise companion? Actually, I was more curious about whether she had encountered any handsome designers and stuff like that. It's a pity that Nikki's Cupid seems to be missing. You should work harder. Now, I'm heading to the Republic of Wasteland booth for materials. What kind of nation is the Republic of Wasteland? It's a nation built in the southern wilderness with an archaic and untamed style. People there are good at tribal aboriginal styles. It's an ancient civilization in the wilderness. Yeah, that's where I arranged for the hero and heroine to meet each other. Imagine this. Okay, on the exotic grassland, the heroine in untamed, bold, traditional clothes is standing in the beautiful sunset. Wonderful scene. Now I really want to try an outfit like that. I think I can reference the bohemian style. Since Nikki is interested in various nations across the land, how about I introduce her to their different design styles? Bobo, which nation has the best grilled fish? Fish grilled on good charcoal fire will have a better taste. I believe the charcoal from the North Kingdom should satisfy your need. Whoa, Lunar actually answered Momo's boring question. Meow, Lunar, you are my goddess. Let's go check out the North Kingdom stylist booth. Hi there, I'm Kane. A designer from the North Kingdom. Hi, Kane. I'm Nikki. We're from the Cloud Empire booth on the opposite side. We just wanted to check out your booth. Wow, the North Kingdom must be really cold. Your garments are all so heavy and... cool. The North Kingdom is a nation far in the north that worships the army in combat. It's just like a solemn military base. It's known as the Arctic country bathed in storm and fire. So most of us are accustomed to a warm and neutral style. North ski, cold ski, military ski. Somehow it seems right that way. Nikki, will you try to challenge the North style? I'd appreciate the chance to interact with you. Sure, of course. I didn't expect there to be so many fantastic nations in Maryland. The modern and fashionable Apple Federation, the magnificent Eastern Cloud Empire, the cute and fairy-like Lilith Kingdom, the primitive and wild Republic of Wasteland, and also the cold but stern Northern Kingdom. They're all amazing! You forgot the nation of the Iron Rose Stylist Legion, the Pigeon Kingdom. The Buddha Head is the Pigeon Kingdom one, right? They look... Imposing! Only because of Queen Ellie of the Pigeon Kingdom. She won the championship in the Nine Day War and took two of King Syed's finest works. After her succession, she founded the Iron Rose, demanding precious clothing from everywhere. They can be quite imposing. Look at their model. Isn't that Vivi? Last time Vivi said she was going to a modeling interview, Looks like she made it! Vivi! Momo, it's good to see you guys again. Nikki, thanks to you, my modeling interview at the tea party went really well. That's because you worked so hard. Are these clothes Pigeon Kingdom outfits? So gorgeous! The Pigeon Kingdom style is sacred and magical. Most people are adept at retro and gorgeous styling. So in the afternoon when I meet my supervisor, I shall dress up in my classy lady outfit. I want to seize the opportunity and become a formal employee, Nikki. No worries. I will help you. We watched her performance for a while now. What do you think of this girl, Mr. Joe? I don't see any traces of discipline or restriction. I suppose she is a natural talent. I agree. She is a gem. But to serve the apparel group, this stylist still has a long way to go. My lady, as a young girl, you already speak like the president. I take that as praise. It seems that the chief designer in his 30s also has a long way to go in etiquette. 
Let's go say hello to this gem. Oh, nice to meet you. Do you need something? Why are you surprised? Did you notice us watching your competition? Uh, I didn't. Truth is, I saw you two before at Manager Lisa's theater. When she accompanied you to see the Star Sea, we were nearby. I see. Would you mind introducing your friends? Sure. This is Momo, Bobo, and this here is Lunar. Greetings, all. I'm Kimmy, a stylist working for the Apple Federation Apparel Group. This is Joe, the chief designer of the group. We came to seek talented young stylists. So you chose Nikki? Trust me, that's the wisest choice you have ever made. Nikki is super awesome. I am honored that we share some of the same viewpoints. I wonder whether or not Nikki minds competing against me first. Let's compete based on the everyday clothing I'm wearing right now. If you win, I will consider guiding you towards becoming an outstanding stylist. Okay. Obviously, the lady is wearing something refined and gorgeous, made by a famous tailor. I wonder how much grilled fish it's worth. Nikki, what do you think of stylists? Um, after so much styling practice, I've come to the conclusion that it's not merely about having a good appearance. It's... Well, it's also about helping people to face everything with a more enthusiastic, positive image. She is great indeed. <clears throat> the best stylist can extract the unique charm from each work infused by any designer. Enable the wearer to feel the magic of the clothing, and help them face their life with more confidence. Whoa, I wish I could become that good a stylist. My, my. Very impressive. How about you surrender all your designs to me? What do you want? These are all my designs. You have no right to take them. Who are you? Why are you stealing people's designs? These are the fruits of Lunar's hard work. If you need designs, go make some yourself. You are all talk. Defeat me. Or just hand over the designs like a good kid if you can't. Sure. Nikki, she looks like a very skilled agent. Be careful of her surprise attacks. That masked woman messed up our ratings at the tea party. I was expecting to see Lunar and Nikki's team become the champions. Huh? The robber dropped something. Isn't this the stylist badge of the Pigeon Kingdom? Another move by Queen Ellie. The Iron Rose certainly is shameless these days. No, it's not that simple. The Iron Rose stylist group never made such a rash move, nor should they be so weak. There's something fishy going on. The air of the Apple Federation apparel group is indeed exceptional. Such sharp vision. No wonder your old man is always bragging about his retirement. Prince Royce, it's been a while. I hear that you have been enjoying your outing since you escaped the palace. Prince Royce! Queen Inari's younger brother! So that's why I felt like I'd see Neva at the Queen's coronation. She's part of the Royal Guard! Oh goodness, I met the Prince! I met the Prince! So Royce is the Prince of the Lilith Kingdom. Kimmy is really awesome. She knows everything. So Nikki doesn't care about the prince, but adores Lady Kimmy. Nikki, you said you wanted to be a great stylist. Then you should learn more, studying and traveling amongst all the Mirrorland nations, expanding your horizons, and absorbing the merits of designers and stylists from various regions to improve your sense of style and creativity. Sounds cool! I'm going with Nikki! I'll also... Master, you promised me you'd return to the palace after the tea party. You... Fine. It's rare to see you expressing your emotions in such a cute way. I will make a slight compromise. If you can defeat Nikki, 
I'll go back with you, and defeat her using your own strength without my design. But if you lose, you should come with me. Huh? What do we compete over? Wintermount is at the border of the Cloud Empire and the Lilith Kingdom. Nikki's next stop should be the Cloud Empire. So let her get accustomed to the modern style Cloud Empire apparel. Sure, let's follow what Kimmy says. If I lose, the prince shall return with Neva. Otherwise, Neva will continue following the prince. Oh, everyone's happy. The four of us can continue traveling together. Kimmy, you're not coming with us? I have some business to handle back in the Apple Federation Apparel Group. Come back to me when you've gotten stronger. I will indeed. I will follow in your footsteps and become an excellent stylist as well. So, will we be traveling with these three girls and that talking cat? No, it'll just be the two of us. Don't you see that they start styling competitions no matter where they go? We'd better leave now and continue enjoying our happy holiday. Master, I am yours to command. Ah, don't smile here! Only I am allowed to see Neva smile. We shall go now. See you soon. Toodaloo!